Howdy fishing freaks. We're standing in front of a muddy water lake right now. I know I said I was gonna go to Central Texas today. I'm not in Central Texas. I'm stopped along the way. Uh, my buddy I was supposed to go out with today, uh, he decided not to go because it's like 40 mile an hour gusts. Can't blame him. So I was gonna go help him pre-fish, but we're not doing that today. I actually ended up doing some, uh, some filming for, for Catch Go today. And I was doing a review on a muddy water box. It's like very appropriately named. Uh, and it's gonna be perfect for what I'm about to do. We're at late in the afternoon right now, which is a key time for bass to bite in the winter because that's normally when it warms up the most, when the surface temps warm up the most, that's when they can move up shallow. And I've got some rocky areas down here where that, that rock soaks up the heat. And so they might be down there on, along the rocks shallow. So that's always a key time when you're fishing in the winter, especially right now when we got sunshine and it's like 80 degrees out here. I'm not even kidding. I'm in a short sleeve shirt right now and I'm, I'm just about sweating. It's that hot. We got some pretty cool baits in this box actually. We got this spinner bait I've never even seen before. This is made by, uh, I think it's called Zorro. It's got a rattle built into the uh, arm right there. And I've got some, you know, black and chartreuse crankbaits. And I've got a little jig action, little black and blue craws. That's just a mud hole. That's just muddy water. So let's toss some lures on, see if we can get a bit in this pudding, pudding water. <laughs> Here's what I got rigged. I got that spinner bait. I got a uh, that balsa shallow running bait. And then I've got a jig with the missile baits crawl on the back of it i'm gonna start out on these rocks right down here i'm gonna work my way around this bank this looks like it used to be an old boat ramp or something boat ramps are always good in the winter time can hold some heat Woo, my gosh it is windy i don't know who won a jet ski out here today probably the ugliest lake ever to jet ski on this spinner base just got a colorado blade and it is a thumper man feels really good i can go pretty slow with it just felt some rocks down there kind of away from the, the bank a little bit so check the spinnerbait out when it comes in we'll reel it in for you guys so you can see see that chartreuse blade pumping it's overcast or muddy water those chartreuse blades can be really good sometimes and for whatever reason smallmouth like them i've been on a few lakes where even if the water's clear they like that chartreuse blade my mouth are just savages. All right, I'm not having any luck over here. It's only been about five minutes, but there's some rocks on the other side that are just big and they hold a lot of heat. I'm gonna walk over there and see if I can get a bit on those. Ooh, good day for snakes. Better watch out. I'm gonna parallel cast this bank here. I got some snakes, man. Me too over here. Yeah, I know. It's a good day for them. Nice and warm today. That guy literally just said he had two snakes over there. What'd I say? Walk down here a little bit. See if I can find a nice snake free zone where I can cast. That looks highly dangerous. A lot of rebarb and crap down here that could go right through your spleen if you fail just the right way. God, I used to never care about that stuff. Now I'm like, I swear, you get older, you start thinking about stuff like that. Come over here to this point. It's got some boulders on it. It looks like there's some rocks out there. All right. Let's try our crankbait again. Fan cast around a little bit. Oh, there goes another snake. And, uh, oh, yeah, that's not a snake, but there damn sure is a lot of snakes right here. Okay, we'll be uh, crafty with our footwork. I like the looks of this little like jig with that missile baits crawl on there. It's a nice compact little setup. An 
Oh my god. Holy crap, guys. Look at that freaking snake right there. Holy cow, my heart is racing right now. <gasps> That's a big water snake. I don't know if you guys can see it. <sighs> All right, I'm gonna just uh, grab a stick and show you guys uh, what kind of snake this is because I see these all the time fishing. Um, I once had a giant water snake like this try to get in my boat. This is what's called a, a diamondback water snake. Uh, if you look at its eye, it's pretty round. Um, they've got like a, like a diamondback pattern on them. It's not a rattlesnake. Uh, it's not a copperhead. It's not a water moccasin. Water moccasins are, are, are much shorter. I'm just gonna grab this guy by the tail if he'll let me. He's kind of tensing up here. See if I can get him out of this little tree. Yeah, he's uh, he's pissed. Come here, buddy. Just trying to show the folks at home what kind of snake you are. And it doesn't mean they won't bite you, but he's just he's not a he's not a poisonous snake. He's a, he's mostly a fish eater and they just hang around the shorelines, unfortunately. Come here, bud. He's like really trying to come this way here. Come on. Here, snake. Yeah, that's how, like how you call a snake. Come here, buddy. Yeah, he wants to, he wants to bite me, which is, I can't blame him, but See how all these leaves have fallen? They just kind of blend in right with those leaves. And if you're fishing along the shoreline, you gotta watch out for these guys sometimes. They'll sneak right up on you. Now normally if it's like warmer, I probably wouldn't even handle these snakes because, you know, I don't want to get bit. Just cause in general, I don't like getting bit by snakes, but when it's cold like this, he's just trying to warm up just like the bass are. Like I was telling you, they'll hang around these rocks and you know, bass are cold blooded too. So they'll do the exact same thing. Oh, there he goes. Oh, I lost him. There he goes. Let's see if I can get him. Uh, yeah, he's gone. They love to hang around rocks and run, uh, warm up this time of year. Like whenever you get a cold whenever you get a really warm day and it's been cold that's when the snakes love to come out well guys i'm trying everything i know to do here to get bit i, I cannot get a bite i'm dragging this jig really slow on some rocks out here i'm just making great contact with the rocks i'm fishing it really slow in the gr in the good feeling areas i just cannot get a bite like i was telling you the other day fishing muddy cold water can be really tough well it's tough right now it can actually work to your advantage when the water starts to warm up the muddy water warms up quicker but they are shut down here today I'm gonna try one more little area. If I don't get bit, it's just time to hit the road. Oh, guys, I don't wanna say this is two days in a row, but I mean, come on. That is absolutely the right thing to be throwing right there. You got a blue crawfish pincher and a black and blue jig. Look at that. Are you kidding me? This is, this is not working out like yesterday though. <laughs> uh, I'm throwing the right thing. These fish just don't want to cooperate. Man, I don't know what else I could have done out there today to catch those fish. It was just a tough day. You know, I didn't really expect a bank fish today, but I was riding along. I was like, man, I'm gonna go out here. It's a sunny day. I'm sure they're gonna be setting up shallow. You know, I'm doing this this box review. This would be like a perfect situation to fish these baits. 
and I even find a blue crawfish pincher around the bank. There's snakes everywhere, so obviously, you know, animals are moving around, they're active. But, it doesn't always work out the way you think it's gonna work out. All the Bassmaster magazines and all the fishing videos and everything I've ever seen, you know, there's, there's one thing I know that's always true, bass will, will surprise you. So even though January is normally a tough month, I just figured I could go catch a few, but it was just tougher than a old boar titty out there today. So I'm sorry for the lackluster performance today. I tried hard, I really did. But just give me a little pat on the butt, I'll go get them next time. I think the moral of the story is today when it's sunny outside and it's been cold, watch out for snakes. I desperately want to hear your best snake stories. Now I could go on on some snake stories and maybe I will. Let me know in the comments what your best snake story is, if you got a good one, let everybody hear it. And if you wanna hear my best snake, snake <laughs> I don't have any snake stories that are really good. If you wanna hear my best snake story, I got a pretty good one, let me know in the comments. We'll do a little story time. Thanks for watching guys, the next time I see you, I'll be up in Chicago, and I'm going to do something called Whirly Ball. Anybody ever heard of that? Never heard of that, I don't think we have Whirly Ball down here in Texas. I don't know, I'll find out when I get there take you guys along for the ride. I'll catch you on the next one.